Either one, you are currently taking a look at the most recent satellite imagery here from our severe tropical storm, Kami, uh, just towards the west of the Philippines, or Marcy, depending on what agency you're looking at, because Pegasa has named this tropical system, Tropical Storm Marcy, just continuing the spin-off here towards the west. It is bringing some uh, abundant amount of rainfall across the Philippines, though, even though it is just offshore. See all this inflow coming in around the storm system, in and around Manila have seen some reports of flooding actually Flights in and out of Manila, a few of them have been canceled, stranding about 65 passengers in this area and even down there towards the south. Also, schools in this region have been closed uh, along the western peripheries of Luzon. A uh, few select schools due to the heavy rainfall and flooding continuing to occur. Actually saw some images coming from JMA News there uh, just showing some of these floods. And here are some of these images here sent in by David Bessie uh, out here in Bacolod. Uh, he definitely had some flooding in his local area. So just with that said, the storm is going to continue to linger and continue to pump this moisture onshore off here just towards the west of the Philippines. And that very well could cause some more flooding, even landslides in some of these steeper elevations. But some good news is going to be on tap here because the storm system should remain at least a little bit disorganized as it continues to linger here, pushes off a little bit farther towards the east, and then it is going to recurve and start moving west the way it should be here in the easterlies. That basically means the wind coming from the east towards the west. And then it's going to jettison off towards Vietnam, bringing all that heavy rainfall with it. But this uh, outlook here from Bagasa does demonstrate that. And this is from the Japan Meteorological Agency also lingering it here. And basically starting into the next 24 hours, jettisoning off there towards the west. And then it very well could impact Vietnam here and over uh, towards Thailand into the week and it's definitely going to be a wet one across Cambodia, Laos and Thailand as the storm system comes ashore. Flooding is going to be a serious threat over there going into the latter part of the week as well. So not just in the Philippines here but many of these countries in southeastern Asia are going to feel the wrath here of Kami. Now uh, let's take a look at the Coeamps model outlook. It's a high resolution model. So with that said the computer power only lets it go out about 48 hours here but you can see it does linger here a little bit continues to start to move off there towards the west but with that said even though it is moving west still expect some inflow to come in across the philippines here from the east device coming in from the southwest is going to start to be pulled out of the philippine sea so even some rain showers along the east coast very well could be expected i'm expecting upwards about two to three hundred millimeters here and even some isolated areas 50 millimeters in just a one hour period across portions of the philippines as this starts to track off there towards the west and then once again going into saturday and sunday likely making a landfall near Da Nang, moving over Laos, and then off towards Cambodia is going to be this tropical system. Now, by the time it starts to get off into that direction, it very well is going to start to become very disorganized, as shown here with this GFS model outlook, likely going to intensify in the middle of the South China Sea, but then going into the weekend, once it makes this landfall, it's going to move across, but see all of that moisture centered over the uh, Indochina Peninsula here, all the way from Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam. So definitely a lot of these areas could be experiencing some significant flooding, even in towards Bangkok to start off the early part of next week. So it definitely is going to be a very wet one on tap here. It will take the proper preparations to prep up uh, for this storm system as it starts to pull off into your direction. And even across the Philippines, despite the fact that the rain is occurring now and you are seeing this flooding, just don't expect some inflow to occur here. Now, uh, we are also talking about our tropical Malixi moving just towards the east of Japan. Now, the good thing about this storm system, already starting to go extra tropical. You can see this on the current Japan Meteorological Agency outlook. You do have our severe tropical storm Malixi here over the Os Osagara Islands. Moving off there towards the north, bringing some rough waves there, but nothing too significant even across here in Tokyo throughout the day today. It has been a rather wet one. This actually picture here I took uh, overlooking Shinjuku from the weather office at NHK. It just shows some, well, basically rain on the window there, some clouds in the sky. That's what it's been looking like for most of the day here. Also on this imagery, you can see that warm front and a cold front starting to stick off of the system. What that means, it's really going to be going extra tropical. JMA only looking at a 24-hour outlook on the storm due to the fact that it is transitioning here from a tropical system to extra tropical going into about Thursday evening. Yet alone, though, this is really going to be kicking up the seas across the northern Pacific as it starts to rush off there towards the north. Any boating traffic going through this area definitely is going to be experiencing a very rough and a wild ride. Talking about seas possibly upwards of 10 meters or higher in some locations. 
very similar conditions actually occurring down there in the South China due to these tropical systems and S is actually looking at the wave heights pushing off there just towards the east of Japan see that big area in red that's what I'm talking about I know it's not really gonna be affecting too many people but I do want to point out even though the storm system is away from the land masses definitely is going to be kicking up some rough weather across much of the northern Pacific but now going back to the satellite imagery another area here that just we've been talking about for the last several days just towards the southeast of Guam has been this one very broad area of convection lacking any definite center of circulation although JMA has put this as a low pressure on their map but uh, it is still bringing some maybe rain showers actually towards Yap about 90 millimeters in the past 24 hours that's a little tiny island here just towards the northeast of Palau and even off here towards Chuck you've actually seen about 150 millimeters due to this widespread band of convection well, some of the models are still picking up on this. We've been talking about it for a few days now. And once again, it's definitely not completely out of the question, as we can see here, going into the weekend. A possible tropical system developing near the Marianas Islands, including Guam and Saipan. You very well could see some tropical winds as it starts to blow up on the Friday and a Saturday, and then pushes off there towards the north, continuing to deepen. Now, good news, at least at this time, it is starting to look like it might turn towards the northeast. Some of the other models actually expected to turn towards the west. Long-range guidance on the system, I guess on that note, is very vague. And definitely, as you see back here on the satellite imagery, it continues to be a very broad and disorganized area of convection. So with that said, still needs time to develop, but we're going to continue to watch this area of the tropics through the coming days. Otherwise, across the rest of the western Pacific, a little bit of a cool down. Temperatures are actually looking a little bit more chillier across the north. And I haven't shown this in a while, but it's just one thing I do want to note. Yes, down towards the south, these are the low temperatures through the overnight hours. This past night, temperatures still remaining here around to the mid-20s. It's about 70 to 75 degrees. Looking off towards the north and northern Japan, still about 10 degrees. But take a look at portions of Russia, even North Korea here. Freezing mark freezing mark and in the Tibetan plateau obviously freezing mark basically freezing mark all along this line here I'm drawing anything north of that yeah, very well could even see some sleet and snow as that northeast monsoon and is definitely potentially could start pushing down here towards the south into the coming weeks bringing a big cool down so one other thing to uh, note here uh, through the remainder of our October but thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com everybody Please, if you do want to join in with our Western Pacific weather meet and greet there in Manila on November 10th, go to our fan page and go to the event list and click, I will be going to this. Also, please click the like button here on the video if you're watching it on YouTube. And also, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can follow me at Robert Spenner or at Western Pacific Weather. Please stay safe out there, though. Have a great day. Bye.